So I've been wanting to make this video for a while now, and that's a comparison of the Fisher Space Pen AG7 and the CH4. The AG7 is the original astronaut space pen, has an MSRP of $60. The CH4 is a more affordable version of the AG7. It has an MSRP of $48, and it's officially known as the chrome-plated shuttle space pen. Uh, the two are very similar, they're both all metal, they're both made of coated brass, but they do have some really distinctive differences. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, the CH4 is gonna have a street price of about maybe uh, 29 or $30, and the AG7 has a street price of closer to like $38, $40. Uh, on the design side, like I said, they're both coated brass, uh, both all metal, they both use a Fisher pressurized cartridge, uh, and they both have that really distinctive click and retraction mechanism, which I'll get into in a minute. So the fundamentals are there, but there are some major differences. So uh, first of all, here's the AG7. And this has that really iconic design that you would probably associate with the Fisher Space Pen. And that is a, a really distinctive taper, the click and side retraction. And then, you know, the Fisher Space Pen font and sort of that other stuff, uh, the really iconic features. So uh, moving over to the CH4, you can see similar aesthetically, side retraction is there, nice feel to it, but it doesn't have that taper. And uh, some of the pieces like the clip are not as uh, fancy. Uh, so now let's get into these side by side. The, just get them fully lined up. The AG7, well, first of all, I did, I weighed both of them and the CH4 is about 27.2 grams. Sorry, the AG7 is 27.2 grams. The CH4 is about 28.4, 20 20.2, so around there. Basically the CH4, interestingly enough, is a little bit heavier than the AG7. The CH4 is actually a little bit longer as well. It measures 5.25 inches in length, where the C AG7 is five inches in length. So CH4 is cheaper, but it's longer and it's heavier. The AG7, interestingly enough, has a slightly higher or slightly more diameter. It has a diameter of 0.375 inches, where the CH4 is 0.32 inches. Putting them side by side, first of all, we'll look at the, the waist there. Here's the AG7 is gonna remain on the left for this video. AG7 is definitely wider than the CH4. You can see the difference right there. The AG7 on top has a much more distinctive taper as well. It narrow, gets wide at the waist, and then from the waist to the tip, tapers down rather sharply. CH4, narrow, gets a little bit wider by the waist, and it's basically consistent from the waist to the grip, and at the grip, it starts to taper to the tip. Put them next to each other. Again, just so you could see the difference. It's definitely noticeable and you could feel it when you're writing. Both pens are, I would say, pretty well balanced. Uh, well, the CH4 is pretty well balanced. The AG7 it is, uh, it has the weight more towards the back, so it kind of sits in your hand. Uh, and I don't think it's terrible, but I prefer the balance of the CH4, so it's, it's more consistent. Uh, on the grip side, again, AG7 is staying on the left. AG7 has a slightly longer grip than CH4, and they both have that spiral grip. So that's just a uh, metal that's been engraved into the end piece there. Uh, the CH4 has a really sharp grip, and the AG7s is quite smooth. Like you could feel it, and it helps with grip, but just listen to my finger and see if you could hear it. And now on the CH4, 
definitely much more noticeable here. And I don't know if that's because my AG7 is a lot older or maybe the CH4 is machined differently, hard to tell. Getting into the features, uh, the AG7 and the CH4 both have that cool distinctive ring collar. Again, both have the spiral grip, both have all metal bodies. And sorry, keeping the AG7 on the left. Both have the click and retract mechanism. AG7 has it in a slightly better done version. So click, retract, click, retract. Feels great. The, the feel of this click and retract is the main reason to buy this pen for me. But when I click it, you can see it goes all the way down, hides, pops back up. Super smooth. Uh, on the CH4, click, bottoms out here, still exposed, return. The return action on the CH4 is not as sharp and perfect as it is on the AG7. AG7, CH4. I don't know if you could tell, but the AG7 feels uh, just a kind of a sharper action. It's not a huge difference, but it is noticeable. And if you're geeking out about these pens to this extent, uh, you're probably gonna notice. On the clip, both use sprung steel for the clips, which is nice, but the AG7 uses a one piece clip that has a collar here and it goes down. It says Fisher AG7 on it, and the AG7 is in their uh, italicized space font or whatever they call it. The CH4 uses a one piece clip that has a, uh, it's it would have like tabs up here, like probably four tabs, and it would be pressed in on the back of this barrel here. And that's the same thing used on like a, a cheap plastic retractable pen. Uh, so it gets the job done and both the clips are effective, but the AG7 uses a much nicer and higher end clip design. And then you can see this nice curve to it where here it's just sort of that piece with that, uh, I don't know, you could actually kind of see the stamped design. On the middle section, the AG7 says, a little bit hard to make out, but it says AG7 space pen by Fisher, dot, 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 USA, dot, dot, dot. On the CH4, it says space pen by Fisher, USA, dot, dot, dot. Or I guess it's might just be a dot, dot, hard to tell. Yeah, dot, dot. Uh, so... You're missing out on a couple dots there, ha ha ha. But it, it's more that the uh, AG7 says AG7 on it, and at no point do they really seem to say CH4 anywhere on this. It just says Space Pen, uh, and maybe you get the space, you know, the space logo, but it never says CH4. And maybe that was just because the barrel is uh, has less diameter, so you just have less space. Or maybe it's because they're just doing less engraving on the cheaper pen. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, opening the pen up, nice smooth action, no squeakiness. We see a uh, Fisher pressurized PR4 cartridge, as you would expect. And you can see all the metal here, which kind of is what causes the back weighting on the AG7, which is, I would say, at least for me, the major problem with the pen that is not as well balanced as some other pens. And funnily enough, my CH4, even though I've never dropped it, is in it's perfect condition, factory condition, it will not open. Uh, and I'm afraid I'm gonna twist too hard, I'm gonna bend this clip, so I haven't pressed it, but I'm gonna have to probably get it into a, some sort of clamp or vise one of these days when the cartridge dies. But uh, it will, it was just, slammed shut at the factory and will not open. So I have to uh, I have to figure that out. So I don't wanna to read too much into that, but this is just one CH4 out of the many, many they produce every day. Uh, but I'm guessing the quality control on the CH4 isn't quite as tight as it is on the AG7. Uh, again, just a guess, maybe it's completely untrue. Uh, I, I don't know, it's just one pen, but the fact that this thing was closed this tightly is uh, really, really strange to me. Whereas my 87 has been really perfect from day one. 
Uh, yeah, so that is pretty much it. In summary, the CH4 is a more affordable version of the AG7, uh, but it misses out on some of the higher end and more distinctive design features and quality control and fit and finish of the click and retraction buttons might not be quite as nice as it is on the AG7. Uh, the CH4 is more affordable. Uh, you'll save maybe eight, 10 bucks if you buy it from uh, an online retailer. You'll save 12 if you buy it direct from Fisher. But the CH4 has, to me, the better balance. And I, I tend to prefer writing with it, even if I'm a little bit disappointed with the click and retraction mechanism. It also feels a little bit thin. Uh, to me, the perfect mix would have been the weight and size of the AG7 with a little bit more diameter going down here. So uh, it's probably never gonna happen. These pens aren't like they're getting a new design anytime soon, maybe until the next uh, milestone space mission, who knows? Uh, but uh, I really like both of them, but I tend to use the CH4 lately. So that's a comparison. Sorry, I went on so long. Thanks for watching.